And let me tell you, the keynote itself really sucks for gamers. It, it, they didn't talk that much about gamers, you know, or gaming GPUs in general. And there is a strange feeling that, you know, Nvidia are kind of punishing us uh, for what miners did, you know. So Ethereum has crashed recently. And way before that, Nvidia has bought a huge uh, supply of silicon in order to, you know, cover the demand from the miners. Uh, they really feels like they didn't give a damn about us. It's just you're gonna buy it anyway. I really don't know what's going on here and they're trying to go universal with uh, other things in the market you know some you know uh, ai for example and omniverse and the metaverse so yeah getting straight to it with the rtx 4090 i'm not gonna make this long to you guys uh, the rtx 4090 is gonna be for around 1600 dollars this is the msrp from the nvidia uh, official pricing this is a 24 gigabyte gpu if you are looking at uh, the uh, performance of it it's basically a really tough gpu to beat is double the performance of 390 ti actually so yeah this is one of the holy grails the highest end gpu nvidia has to offer right now and it feels like a tank as you can see right now this is the asus rog version of it uh, it looks like an absolute beast it's a very chunky big gpu this is a four slotted card even though nvidia in their official website they said that this is gonna be a three slot gpu anyways a really great performance with dlss 3.0 which is exclusive to the 4000 series in case you don't know and the AV1 encoder also there is there and a brand new Invenc encoder. Now the TDP of this GPU is around 450 watt and the maximum temperature is 90 degrees which is pretty hot. Now jumping off to the RTX 4080s and there are two RTX 4080s actually and they are very different from each other so let me explain to you. Now the first one what they have is the RTX 4080 the 16 gigabyte version which is uh, going for $1200. This is double the performance of the RTX RTX 3080 Ti. So we're looking at around 50 to 60% more performance over the RTX 3090 Ti. Now that one also uh, TDP is around 320 watt. So it kind of gets the job done and it's a great GPU from uh, the launch, you know. Now the other one that we have is the RTX 4080 12 gigabyte GPU and there is a huge difference as I told you guys. Now this GPU is the same performance of the RTX 3090 Ti but half you know the VRAM and also it has the brand new features. Now that one goes for $900 US or $899 according to Nvidia of course. So yeah if you got an RTX 3090 Ti for around $1100 it's not a major loss because you know the GPU that Nvidia the brand new one that would perform the same goes for only $900. You would feel bad if you just were to get an RTX 480 anyways. Now this also is uh, TDP around 250 watts so it's not the most you know power drawing GPU out of the bunch this is the least and as uh, Brian from Techia City said and this is a great YouTube channel that you should check it out he said that this is basically an RTX 4070 but they are rebranding it to a 4080 so they can justify the higher pricing and yeah this is a really high price compared to the RTX 4070 MSRP or the RTX 4080 MSRP but that has to do with the inflation and how the market is going and how Ethereum has really uh, pushed up the demand for the GPUs which made them more expensive than what they are so that's all what we have with the RTX 4000 series launch event and all the information that we know with these GPUs the RTX 4090 is supposed to uh, launch uh, somewhere in October, 10th of October, somewhere in that territory. The RTX 4080s, uh, which is virtually a 4080 and a 4070, will be somewhere in November. But yeah, the keynote itself didn't feel that you know reassuring, didn't feel that it was meant for gamers. It felt like we are kind of left behind from Nvidia or we're just we're gonna buy anyways. Yeah, it feels like they are really pissed off at something that uh, maybe has to do with EVGA, maybe has to do with the uh, silicon thing that they got into and yeah that's it if you like the video press on that like button if you have anything uh i missed leave it down in the comments this is a pretty fast one right post uh the live stream and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one and maybe we'll talk more about it peace